Recently, I was watching the movie Crank, which I'm sorry to say hasn't aged well. Was it even good back then? Yeah, so anyway, in the movie, I did notice how there are multiple references to the game Berserk. The game is simple, and it's somehow a great game. The Pac-Man arcade port was horrible, but the Berserk one is pretty, pretty le legit, you know? The only thing that was missing from the Atari version was uh, the voice acting. I think it's self-explanatory. There's a uh, freaking robots. And this uh, face there is uh, chasing you. Yeah, evil auto. Intruder must not escape. Uh, I think the sound and the voice really uh, really makes it real. And if you don't kill them all, Kitten, fight like a robot. This guy. It's funny because usually you can get them to walk into the walls or something. Ah, oh yeah, the walls kill you. Yeah, this game's hard. It also goes along with like, you know, the, the, the theme of sci-fi movies in the 80s and in the late 70s, which was things like Logan's Run or like The Prisoner, right. and you're trying to escape or like Planet of the Apes and all, or all, all that type of thing. The earlier arcade games didn't have endings, right? So, so you never could, you can never escape the world of Berserk. Here, let me try it. I love how you get points for killing robots that have just killed themselves. I mean, it's kind of addicting. It's more like, yeah, how, how, long, how long can you keep on shooting robots? When you're in the bar and you're, and you're like, you know, half intoxicated and you're playing Berserk, <laughs> like, you know, like, it's like, yeah, I'm killing robots! Want to see the Atari version? Yeah. Compare? Of course. How many cards we got? We got, oh, four. I got four for the moment, but I guarantee you we got more hidden away somewhere yeah, we else. Do, this probably. is probably. Obviously, like, it has a lower resolution, but, like, it's, like, like the same game, you know? You can see, wow, wow, he's, like, really fast. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you know this, but, like, there's different settings you could have Evil Auto at. How Evil Auto works is that he runs faster once you've cleared the room. He runs slower if you haven't cleared the room yet. Whoa, like, you just kill him? I think I did. You can kill him in this version? I mean, he comes right back. What I liked about the Atari... Out. Uh, part of the whole, like, Atari experience was that the instruction manual really gave you a, an idea of, like, the story, yeah. what everything was supposed to look like with your imagination. When you finish, let me try out the... No. What? No. That's fair. So look at that, like, starting point. Yeah, but see, in the harder modes, they would actually start running at you. It's one of the Atari games that did get addicting, you know? Yeah, like, oh, definitely. Uh, yeah. It just, it just, it just, when you got good at it again, like, eventually you were, it got repetitive. It, but it, take a, it would take a long time to get repetitive. Hi, actually, you just got something. Yeah, easy, yeah, I've also noticed that, like, extra lives are easy to pick up in this. It seems strange, but this was probably one of the few games on the Atari where you actually walk around and shoot people. I mean, which sounds strange because, uh, nowadays, that's like... It's not even people, it's things. It's games like Commando, but, like... Oh, it's true, yeah. But, like, in the in the 90s and 80s, like, it was like, it was like shooting games were, were like, like, a big deal. And obviously, Atari proved that you could have more than one bad guy on the screen. Bottom line, I, I think this is repetitive, yes, but it's also a very uh, addictive and a great uh, time killer. And we, and we still don't know why Crank has this game. Like maybe, <laughs> like maybe it's uh, maybe John Stamos enjoys the game. Yeah, Lucas. Oh, and then oh. the happy face comes in. There <laughs> yeah. you go. There's there, 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 Berserk. Berserk. Okay. You, you can pick one up for like 50 cents a pop now, probably on eBay. Ooh, less than that, like a penny. But the guy on the cover has like has like this mop haircut that's really popular in the, in the <laughs> 70s. Yeah, 